Oh, not today, thank you. Oh, fuck. Run, why can't I run? Fucking run, you slow footed twat. Hello. Hi, welcome back. Thank you for joining me today. I, I've been away for a little while. Um, for those of you that don't know, I had my first day's phalloplasty. Uh, I had my first day's phalloplasty about six weeks ago. I'm sort of getting back to normal. I'm trying to like find my groove when it comes to recording. I'm having to pick my moments because um, it's still quite painful sitting down. So we're gonna just. It's not gonna be the same uh, schedule I had before, but I'm. I do aim to get back to releasing content sort of every three days. But for now, I'm just gonna do what I can. Uh, so we are going to continue with Laser Fear. But let's get on with it. Chapter three. Eight. It's been quite a while since I played this because I had a lot of um, content backed up when I went into hospital. So it's been a while, and I haven't played any. I haven't played any horror. This is the first time playing a horror game since I since before I went in for my surgery. So. <sighs> We shall see. Oh my god! That's loud! Jesus. Their life started to fall apart. Everything he touched turned to rot. Okay. Are we normally walking this slow? We need to be walking very slow. Uncertain. Henry Marvin, MD, relationship counsellor. Uh, this time we're really going. Oh yeah, we've got to talk. How do we... Oh, okay. Been a very long... At least it feels like a long time since I was last playing this. Honey, it's your favorite. Come, sit with me, like in the old times. I will get you, you furry leeches. Get out of my house. Oh, you mean furry leeches? Oh, rats. Rat. Good little ratty paw print. You in here first. Like dark bathroom. Blood is the god water. Okay. Maybe so. Why is that Levant on the toilet? House is sick. This house is sick. The world is breaking around us. Everything I touch breaks. Good, solid undercoat. A primer that will hold it all together so it doesn't rot.
Oh. The world is breaking around us. Okay. Oh, I don't like corridors and corners. Mm. Piece of the Puzel painting, whatever. Oh. Okay. Ah. Oh. Fuck me, what is that and why is she here? Oh no! Ah! Oh, she's coming! Oh my god! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I'm stuck! No, go away! Go away! Oh, not today, thank you. Oh, fuck. Run, why can't I run? Fucking run, you slow footed twat. Avoid your enemy. Yeah, well, that's kind of what you do when someone's chasing you. Dear sir, while I can certainly understand that you're upset, and I have nothing but sympathy for your wife and yourself, I must categor categorically state that I do not wish to receive any further correspondence from you in this matter. Any skin graft procedure is extremely complicated, and inherently associated with the risk of failure. I just had that, actually, funny enough. Having stated that, I assure you that me and my colleagues at St. Anne have made every effort to ensure a positive outcome for your wife. Personally speaking, I believe we have done the best job possible, considering the extent of tissue damage. You are, of course, entitled to your opinion, and I can certainly understand your disappointment. What I do not understand is how you seem to think writing letters to me, writing hateful letters to me, or my fellow doctors, will ameliorate the situation. As I've already stated, I can certainly understand you've been under a lot of stress of late, and thus I will not press charges, if you refrain from any future correspondence. Let me make it absolutely clear that I will not tolerate any further threats aimed at my staff, my family or myself. If you wish to seek psychological help, I can have my assistant provide contact information for several specialists who would be more than competent to help you get through these hard times. With regards and best wishes for you and your wife. Ooh, okay. Quite know where I'm going, but. Damn Ash! And Ash is you, Sean. Cleaning this house is a nightmare. We don't even use the fireplace that often. And Ash is everywhere. I'm terribly sorry for your inconvenience, but we have seen no power fluctuations in your area and see no issues in the neighbourhood. 
And since you didn't allow entry to our electricians, we cannot help you in any way. footprints. The table on the ceiling. Tattered thoughts. Oh, we don't. Don't know the code. Ten seventy ninety, is that so? My arse can fit through there, thank you. I can put it between the boxes and never find it. Uh... Up or down? Up or down? I say up. Noises I don't like. Why? A 
another key. I don't like how the door shut behind you, quite rather aggressively. Is it too late to turn it all around? Probably. Silent floaters. Silent floaters, they clog the drains, throw in the water, no bass for me. I'm not like her. I won't let go. I won't let my passion decay. I can't. I would never. I will. Finish it. If you say so. I... Dear sir, if I am to be honest, I can't say your letter was, un was unexpected. Numerous colleagues have informed me that you had previously sought their advice in this matter. And while it is perfectly understandable for a patient to demand a second opinion, I would think 16 concurring opinions would be enough. Wow. Still, out of respect for you and your wife, I have examined the case thoroughly and I can and I have to concur with my colleagues. Involuntary involuntary muscle spasms are not uncommon with patients who have suffered burns as severe as your wife did. What you prefer what you refer to as freakish grin or an unnerving yelp, though many would find such expressions hurtful could indeed be manifestations of nerve damage. The other symptoms you mention do not seem to be psychological, but rather purely psychological... do not seem to be... Physi physi physiological, sorry, I can read. Oh. But rather purely psychological in nature. Dramatic events can lead to severe stress, and that is nothing to be ashamed of. As to your demand that we fix your wife, you have to understand that what she went through cannot be undone with one simple procedure. It is a long, arduous... Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see, it cannot be undone with one simple procedure. This is a long, arduous process that will require all your strength and support. Please feel free to contact me or my colleagues should you wish to discuss a long-term rehabilitation program. Another fucking quack! This family. Work if you keep 
undermining me, it will break apart. Restless memories. Oh, Hi, oh, you fuck. bastard. Why did it do that? Why did we have a cut? That was weird. Ah. No. Uh, no, I'm not prepared. Emotionally. I am not prepared. That's a... You put more and more locked doors between us, but it's my drinking that ruins the family. This is childish. Yeah, I'm not going in there. Oh, fuck. I'm not going in there. No. No! Oh. Can I keep that? Yes, thank you for stepping on my keyboard. Can I go through there? Oh, I don't know where I've been or where I haven't been. I've been turned around and confuddled. Right. In the end, this was the only instrument she could play. The only music this family could accept. Wow. Three.
Let me in. Thank you. I thought I broke all of them. A bulb. A bulb. They're in the walls. Insane with those candles. We have electricity. One. Oh. Now look. Locked here. Fuck off. Okay, the fuck am I now? Out a boy who wakes up in a cave, he finds a mysterious note and a gun. He then journeys through various environments, woods, fields, rivers. Eventually he winds up at a small cabin, where it turns out this has all been a product of his subconscious. Brought upon by a traumatic childhood memory, he killed a guy who had murdered his father. In the real world, he's been drooling in a loony bin this whole time. Wow. Get it? The twist is sort of gimmicky, but I think it works. Could you storyboard it for me? If you're interested, I'll send you the details right away. Frankly, I think you should take this job. It pays well, and it would take your mind off of, well, you know, everything else. Please let me know as soon as possible. Hmm. We're not going to get it. No. Oh wait, oh wait, oh wait, get away. Oh no, I can't concentrate what I'm doing and be worrying about the deep bitch face. Give me another number, you bastards. Oh fuck. 
Oh, fuck me sideways. Fucking door, so. Dick's one. Dirty. This is who I am. Without it, I'm broken. I have to finish it. Oh, you know what? I'm getting fucking sick of hearing you fucking finishing this sodding. March 24th. All right, let's try this again. Finally managed to play a little. If banging on the keys awkwardly counts as playing. I won't lie, it drives me insane to not have full control of my fingers. In any case, I was promptly berated by my loving husband who said I should be resting. I know he means well, but how will I ever get better if I don't work at it? The worst thing is, I could swear I smelled liquor on his breath. God, please, not this again. Look. to do oh, my foot. oh I was supposed to do nothing I about it. a jar and a plastic tubing tubing I siphoned gas before I knew how it was done having it. 
I'm actually not having it. I am not. I'm not tolerating it. Go away. Dear sir, we would like to ask you to cease bothering our pet control specialists, as well as, well as refrain from sending us any more of your highly inappropriate letters. I'll have you know that my mother is a respectable woman and does not take kindly to such accusations. All of our employees that visited your house reported absolutely no signs of a rodent infestation of any kind, and as such decided not to act further than a spraying. Please treat this letter as a final warning, or else the next envelope you will receive will be from our lawyers. With best regards, Carl Denton. Esky Pests Pacification. I don't know if I've. I mean, it's been a while since I played this, so I don't know if I've looked at. Furry leeches! Oh, yeah, we've looked at all this lot. Oh, this is this is the ship we've found. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, yeah. Baby shoes. I'm not interested in sure where I'm supposed to be going now. I don't know why that's an option, but you know. Right, you know this. Seen all this, I think. I'm um, sorry for yesterday. You were right. I overreacted. It's just that this isn't about me. It's about her. Everything I do, I do with her best interest in mind. I guess I've always believed that in an imperfect world, it's worth to strive for perfection. Ah, now I'm starting to sound like my father. I will work on my temper, though. I promise. Oh yeah, I'm fucking sure you will. Lies. Oh yeah, we've been here. Now, a tiny bit to the left. Yes, just like that. Yeah, we've seen all this. Oh, why? I don't know. I don't know why we're back here.
Writer's story, chapter two. Ah. I'm quite sure I missed a load of stuff in that other bit. I, I, I'm finding it a bit confusing, actually. Who's banging? All chains when the daughter was born. Wow, the reward for most cliche lines go to. So I'm here. For a place belonging to a posh ass agency. This is weird. If they wanted, if they wanted to have decor that corresponded with so and so story, they succeeded. It's dark, and there are rats and weird paintings. I'm not going to lie, I feel like this was some kind of fucked up experiment. Especially since the man called to check if I was working so soon after I arrived. I heard a strange noise when I was about to start writing, but it turned out that it was only rats, I think. I thought I saw... Later, I called and let him know I'm here. He always cheers me up. We have a torch? We don't. Lovely. Lovely. Uh, I'm gonna go this way. Oh, stairs going down. Oh god, I don't like basements. I've got past trauma with basement. Or any sort of stairs that go down. I would like a torch! Or a candle. Or summit. Take that. Am oh. I down here? Why are you making noise? No reason. Okay. Oh, the graphics are annoying. Don't ride city buses. This is your chance to end segregation. Children change every... Reach f your own experience. I know what it is to be a parent. What changes with a child? Channel it. What? What? Now who's fucking rattling doors? The potatoes. Hmm. Um lovely photo, painting. We had an agreement, a deadline that you prolonged for the third time now. If you don't finish this screenplay, someone else will. Fuck off! Ah. Somebody left the window open. Oh, I don't like those angles. I feel like something might scare me. Ah! I have your truth. What the fuck? Yeah, what the fuck indeed?
Who's out there? Oh. Here, son. It'll Ooh, help with the pain. Weed. Oh, for the pain. Yeah, that's what I thought. Here, son. Oh. Come on, what happened to you when your daughter was born? Tell me. About no. About none of your fucking business. Uh. Weird. Why does that not lead outside? Oh. I see. Uh, let's make a call. Someone, anyone. Hello? Oh, thank God. It's me. Mama? Did something happen? I... don't know. I don't feel good. I don't like this place. What do you mean you don't feel good? Do you need a doctor? No. It's dark in here. I'm scared. Mom, it's night. I think you just had a bad dream. Everything will be okay in the morning. I doubt. I imagine the lighthouse gets lonely, but come on. It's you who wanted to go there. No, you don't understand. It's dark. It's awful, and I can't write. Everything is... Hello? Hello? Ah! Now that's no way to greet your muse. What your surprise? Creation isn't pretty. You pushed a human being into the world, and now you need to do the same with a book. I'm here to help you with that. I'm assuming you didn't mean out of be fanny. I'm not sure that's how that works. Yeah, well, I'm assuming we're going to where the fucking... I'd rather just leave if it's all the same. Don't need to finish writing. So we've been forced to go downstairs. Oh, fuck. Like a light. She asks. <laughs> the same way I helped the painter, the musician, and the actor. All you have to do is choose. Your voice will be heard. It won't. It never is. Oh, rats. They're running off too. Oi. We right now? Can we write? No, we don't write. Okay. No, right. We follow the rats. Hello? Ah, you dirty bitch! Oh, got a more lot. What? And now, with my help, it's possible. 
Do you choose to use it? No. So no. Say it. I do. No. I choose your help. Oh well, now you've fucked it, aren't you? Then it is done. And you're fucked. Hello. Hello. Oh, thank God you're okay. What happened? Well. What do you mean? I. Uh, you were scared, and the call was cut off, and. Oh, that. That's nothing. The generator died. It's fine now. Oh. Okay. I guess that's good. How do you feel? You sounded upset. I'm worried. I'm good. Mm, but... I'm good, son. It's as you said. I'm exactly in the place I wanted to be. Are you? Yes, I'm sure. I need to get back to work. Good night. Love you. Wow. No, love you too, son. Thank you, son, for calling checking on me, son. Hey. Moths drawn to the fire between them. No matter if it the flame was desire, despair, or hate. Okay, so I'm going to leave that there. Um, so it's just going to be a short one today. Because I haven't really been uh, recording for a while because I've been in a hospital. But I hope you enjoyed that. And thank you if you're watching this. Um, I appreciate it. And I will see you very soon. Bye.